Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about catch crab disease imaging. To catch crab disease is a zoonotic bacterial infection caused by botanized cancellar microorganism. It's caused by scratch of a cat. And its manifestation as botanosis. Clinical presentation. The injury leading to the infection is typically a very superficial scratch, which often heal before the patient present with the disease. Initial systemic symptoms are usually mild and unspecific like malaise, social age, weight loss, headache, nausea, vomiting. Major form of modern losses. 90% is a painful regional lung container party. For example, cause problem of the lung node in the upper extremity, axilla, and legs, which reflect that most cash scratch occur on the head. 5 to 10 percent is disseminated infection, manifesting as multiple granulomas, particularly in the liver and spleen. Bone region may also be blocked. <clears throat> Nasal skeletal and extremity. In two to percent of patients, the <laughs> neurological complication also occur, ranging between encephalitis, transvermicellitis, polyneuritis, and neuroretinitis. In patients with acquired immune deficiency syndrome, botanella and sedan can cause bacillary angiomatosis. Pathology. Botanella and sedan is Facultative intracellular gram negative bacterium, which most commonly infects humans through a catch crab or bite. In radiographs, bone lesions are typically ill defined and lithic. The radiograph appearance is non specific. Original lymphadenitis result in the shoe soft tissue swelling. So here is a case of 16 years old male, palpable rapidly appearing painful mass in a region of the left elbow, subfibra up on presentation, cat owner. So in the first image on the left side, we see the bone uh, intact. So mean distal femoral proximal ulna and radius ulna. But we see swelling cell tissue in the medial side close to the medial condyla, but not clearly appreciated. When we correct the when we correct the radio opacity, so we turn to soft tissue. So we see well defined oval shaped region. That is the adenopathy. But in the lateral view, we see very subtle region around here. Like the supra 
from the regions. In ultrasound, the usually initial imaging method of choice, ultrasound can depict both the original cardinopathy and lung cardinopathy as well as liver and spleen granulomas, which are typically initial hypoechogenic cell being calcification in the red flesh. So here is the hypoechoic lung with swelling fatty liver, fat hyaline with very hyperemia and swelling adjacent soft tissues in the at the major aspect of the elbow. So it is the multiple inner part of the elbow. which related to the first case, the same patient of the 60 years old case. So what we can find in the CT, CT is useful for us, the assessment of systemic disseminated disease, abdomen, granulomatal, granulomas, uh, typically hypo and thin on the non-enhanced CT upon administration of the intravenous contrast, they can remain hypoatenuating because or become isodent to the surrounding tissue or demonstrate a real enhancement. So here is the case of 15 years old female fever, nausea, Lack of a quadrant pay rather to the back. Also, a story related to the cat. So, here is her first image of her CT. No any abnormality we can find except spleen is alive. But in the second image with contrast in part of this, now we can say this is the, because of the care we concern about renal disease more than other organs. So this image is cut up in the parent, renal parenchymal phase. So we still see the and large spleen, but with wet shape, hypo attenuation subcapsule at this region, at the, this region, and the other one is another, the other side of the spleen, where it's sometimes on this uh, bone, on this slide. So the same case, but we see another plan of the image. So one more hypoattenuation of this in the sling we see close to the probable high dam of the spleen. And the others in the Sagittal view, we see the subcapsule hypoattenuate lesion, and the other one, another slide also, a uh, close to the hilum of the spleen. Ordination similar to which shown. Otherwise, it's unremarkable. So this is the Splenic impact that caused by botanilosis confirmed analysis. In MRI, 
MRI can be used for further evaluation of the local and systemic form of the disease affect Tip lung node are uh, typical hyperintense on T2 wish sequence. Demonstrate surrounding soft tissue edema and enhance holding the administration of the intravenous ultras. MI is particularly useful in the evaluation of the rare CNS sick scala like encephalitis, meningitis. So here is the same case of 60 years old man, particular rapid appearing painful mass in the region of the elbow, sarcebra representation, catch onus. So we see very clearly hyper intensity of the elbow, very fine, over shape, solid layer. At the Elbow level in the left image. Also in the right image, also we see the same region, but a little bit more so intense to the muscle. So another plan in the coronal view, we also appreciate same region, well defined of our shape. Slightly iso then to the muscle in the left image and hyperintern in the right image of the MRI. So what is the treatment and prognosis for catch cat disease? The original form of botulinolosic commonly results spontaneously within treatment. Short course antibiotic treatment is very effective if the correct diagnosis is made in time. Due to aspecting symptoms and the, the diversity of systemic manifestation, it can be, however, easily confused with other illnesses, such as soft tissue. Thank you.